Today we're joined by Dr. Nisa. She is a senior lecturer from UPM with six years of expertise in clinical nutrition, diabetes, and also glycemic control. Sorry, glycemic index. Welcome, Doctor. How are you doing? Okay, thank you, Martini, for inviting me. Okay, so let's start by addressing one of the most common issues, which is a very common in Malaysian setting. So, what causes diabetes? Is it sugar or is it rice? Oh, okay. Both, uh, either sugar or rice, are not the main cause of diabetes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, this is very relevant question. I, think. I like it yeah? uh, because the number of people with type two diabetes in Malaysia has been increased tremendously as compared to the previous years. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, well, we know that family history, family background play an important role for the development of type two diabetes, cause type two diabetes. Yeah? But there are other things that we can control but are not be practicing well in, in the current context of Malaysian population. For example, uh, eating a lot, put them on weight, and finally, this excess weight will lead to the development, the cause of type 2 diabetes, mm -hmm. right? Other than that, you eat a lot, but unfortunately, Malaysian population are not doing any exercise. Mm -hmm. Uh, the prevalence to show how many people are physically active in Malaysia found that only 40% of our population do exercise mm -hmm. or physically active. Mm -hmm. However, 60% out there are not exercised at all. Which means when you are not exercised, you eat a lot and finally this both will lead to excess weight gain. Yeah? Your you put a lot of weight and finally you are either overweight and obese and this is the main cause for the type 2 diabetes mm -hmm. in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So to summarize, diet and physical activity plays a very important role in prevention of diabetes as well. So true. Okay, so moving on to our next question. Doctor, when you meet patients with diabetes, right, what are some of the common issues which is related, pertaining to nutrition which they usually face, people with diabetes? Okay. Good question, Martini. Uh, we have a dual problem. Okay? Mm -hmm. Our people with diabetes, when they come and see us, mm -hmm. it's not only about talking, presenting uh, not good glycemic control, not good glucose control. Yeah? They are also having obesity mm -hmm. yeah? and also have huge waist circumference. In my experience as a clinical dietitian in diabetes, yeah, there's only about less than 20% who were able to achieve a good glucose control. Mm -hmm. 60 to 70% of people with diabetes out there are presented to us either overweight and obese mm -hmm. and also have huge waist circumference. Mm -hmm. And these two combinations, obesity, overweight, huge waist circumference, will lead to the management of glucose control even more difficult, mm -hmm. right? Okay, number two, that's the clinical characteristic. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, they are also presented to us, when they come to see, to see us, we look into the dietary aspect. Even though they claim, yeah, people claim that they are following the diet, but when we do the analysis, they are actually not. Mm -hmm. yeah? What are the uh, the culprit in their diet, number one, they eat excessive carbohydrate. Uh -huh. yeah? Rice is full rice, mm -hmm. full plate. Yeah? That's the main contribution to high blood glucose level. Mm -hmm. Number two, the intake of fruits and vegetables are very limited, mm -hmm. which finally lead to very low fiber intake in our diabetic population. Mm -hmm. The recommendation for fiber is about 20 to 30 gram per day, but the People with diabetes, yeah, on average, will only eat about six grams per day. So it's far below. It's far below the recommendation, mm -hmm. right? Uh, second thing, when they eat, they even we eat a lot at one time. Not only a lot at one time, we also eat frequent meal. Yeah, you know that's the current trend. So that's making the dietary compliance or adherence even more difficult. When it comes into physical activity that you mentioned earlier, the important role of managing diabetes, they are also not doing exercise. Mm -hmm. They are also not physically active. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Only 20 to 30% of patients with diabetes from my research found that they are physically active. 
the rest out there are not very sedentary yeah so with all of this combination of lifestyle behavior which finally lead to poorly control of glucose level mm -hmm. in people with diabetes mm -hmm. so to summarize things again so one of the best way to manage diabetes is through proper physical activity proper diet and also maintaining a proper blood glucose level mm -hmm. is that right yeah. so i hope we all got that message and that brings me to the final question for you dr nisa mm -hmm. over here so when you meet people living with diabetes as a dietitian how do you work together with them to manage right. uh, very very question okay uh, when you uh, when you diagnose with diabetes mm -hmm. the main important thing that you should request from your doctor is to have referral to a dietitian Mm -hmm. Because studies have shown that people who are newly diagnosed with diabetes, yeah, they are the one who will do very excellent in managing glucose control mm -hmm. if they got early referral to the dietitian. Mm -hmm. right? So early referral to a dietitian is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Once you got diabetes, yeah, the, your life, your dietary aspect, your physical activity will be changed. You will also maybe be put in many diabetes drugs. Where it will perhaps it will uh, it will absolutely interfere with your lifestyle, mm -hmm. right? Therefore, the combination of drugs, dietary aspect, physical activity, and the most important thing, lifestyle behavior change, is a good combination of managing type two diabetes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. When it comes into the diet, eh, uh, you have to be very very clear mm -hmm. uh, whether you want to prevent or you want to manage type 2 diabetes because these two condition has different management aspect. So for people with diabetes, yeah, already confirmed, already diagnosed with diabetes, the main focus is of course to make sure you have appropriate amount of carbohydrate. Source of carbohydrate like rice, bread, uh, vegetable, fruits, that means that must be counted properly. Yeah? If you think about sugary aspect, yeah, sugary beverages, sugary foods, it can be taken but with the advice of dietitian. Because we know when you take uh, sugary food and beverages, this is zero, zero nutrient, mm -hmm. it's only contain calories. When you take it excessively, they will actually lead to body weight gain. And this body weight gain, as I mentioned earlier, will make your diabetes control even more difficult. Mm -hmm. right. Number two, uh, fiber play an important role as well, not only managing diabetes, but the most important role of fiber is to help you managing lipid profile, your cholesterol level. We know that the main cause of death in patients with type 2 is not glucose, but a heart attack. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it is very important uh, for the patient to have good uh, dietary fiber, yeah? for example, you can make it your rice, your white rice together with the brown rice, you mix and this will actually enhance your fiber intake. Mm -hmm. uh, not to forget, make sure you have enough, you have enough fruits yeah? in a day, you have a lot of vegetables, limit your fat yeah? and with this combination will help you at the initial management uh, to achieve good glucose control. Mm -hmm. yeah. While you have taken care very properly in terms of nutrition, but you're not exercise yet, it's not be able to achieve optimum glucose control. Therefore, uh, physical activity at least 150 minutes per week cumulative yeah, uh, will be able to help people with diabetes, living with diabetes, uh, to make sure they achieve uh, good glucose control. Mm -hmm. yeah. Achieving good glucose control is very important to make sure you reduce your risk of getting diabetes related complications, for example, heart disease, yeah? renal problem, blindness, amputation. So, therefore, uh, if you ask me again, what would I do? Number one, promote referral, ask your doctor to be referred to a dietitian so that we can have better discussion in terms of managing people with diabetes mm -hmm. to the dietary aspect. Mm -hmm. 
there was a lot of information which you just shared. So it's quite evident that referral to a dietitian or meeting a dietitian in terms of managing and also preventing diabetes is very, very helpful. So I hope we all got the message over here. And I also thank you very much, Dr. Nisa, for coming and sharing your information. Yeah, Till we meet again, well. thank you very much.